Hi, I'm Phil Ashey from the American Anglican Council with your weekly Anglican Perspective. Well, it's time for back to school. So many of us are taking our kids back to school. Just yesterday, I drove one of my daughters up to college and dropped her off, uh, Julie and I, uh, for her second year. And now we're back to uh, bringing kids to school in the morning and carpools and you know, the lazy days of summer are gone and the pace of life is quickening again. So at a time like this, it's very easy to get so fast in our pace that we stop listening to the Lord and taking time for His direction. One of the things as Anglicans that we treasure is having a regular pattern or rhythm of prayer in our life. And it's reflected in our prayer book. Uh, we have uh, the daily office, morning and evening prayer. We have daily devotions uh, during the day, times when we can stop and read a psalm or a scripture or a, a prayer time. Personally, uh, I love having my time away with God uh, just as Jesus did in the first chapter of Mark, where it says in Mark 1, uh, 35, very early in the morning while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary pray place where he prayed. And you know, his disciples were so taken aback by that that uh, they searched for him. They couldn't find him. And they were astonished when they did find him. And he had a direction and a word from the Lord about what he was supposed to do that day. So I just want to commend to you to take some time in your day, early morning, noontime, whatever works for you, and spend time in God's word listening for his direction. Mm -hmm.